Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a battle of the beauty blenders. So what I'm going to be talking about today is different kinds of sponges um, because there is a lot on the market nowadays and the beauty blender is of course the most popular and the most expensive that I've seen. With that being said, I'm here to find you guys dupes for the beauty blender. So this is mine. I have the nude one. You guys have seen me use it in my video before. This is it dry. Um, it's a little messy because I do use it quite often. Throughout this video, you're going to see me in different setups, different clothing, and different like positions um, because I'm going to be filming this throughout a couple of days. The first two that we're going to be starting with is the Real Techniques and the Beauty Blender. I'm going to be doing half my face with the Real Techniques and half my face with the Beauty Blender. I'm going to be using the same foundation for all of these just for the sake of consistency and the video. The Beauty Blender is extremely soft. This is again wet so it's really really soft. This one is pretty hard whenever it's dry but it's extremely extremely probably just as soft as the Beauty Blender. So I'm going to start with the Beauty Blender and that's going to be on this side of my face. I'm just going to dot it on my face. You guys have seen me use both of these products in my video before, um, but I've never done a full-on video on comparing the blenders. It's blending out my foundation super easy, if you can tell. I love the finish that it's giving me. So this is the Beauty Blender side. Looks very nice, and this is very very nice okay so next for the real technique side so i'm gonna do the same exact thing and i'm also using the flat side in case you guys were wondering i am using the flat side of the sponge okay so this one it applies the foundation kind of heavy I feel like it doesn't really soak up as much as the beauty blender it's definitely way more foundation on this side even though I used pretty much the same amount it's definitely a little bit more full coverage than the other side I feel like um, and that's probably just because it didn't soak up as much as the beauty blender did but again there's no product left on this and it really buffs out your skin nicely. This side is the Beauty Blender side. And then this side is the Real Techniques sponge side. Overall, I really like them both. They're both super soft and they look really nice on the skin. They give me a really good finish. The flat side of this, I really, really like for getting under the eye or around the nose area and just really like getting one big spot at one time. When we're talking comparison, I definitely think this is a very close dupe to the Beauty Blender in the texture, the feeling, and the softness whenever it's on your face. This doesn't feel rough at all on your face. Okay, so that is the battle between the Beauty Blender and the Real Techniques. Okay, so I decided to throw another one into this little mixture. Um, I have two little sponges right here, and these are the Swisher sponges. So this one is dry, and this one is so wet. So I am just going to apply my concealer with this because these are very small, and you wouldn't typically use this for a foundation. Um, and I don't have a little beauty blender to compare this to. These are really good. These are some of my favorites. You guys have seen them in my videos before. The only problem is that whenever they're not wet, they are a little bit stiff. Um, so I wouldn't recommend using them like that. I'm just going to apply my concealer or blend out my concealer with this and let you guys know my thoughts. So when it's bouncing on my skin, it's blending out everything really, really fast, I feel like. Um, these blenders are very tiny and can fit right here in the inner corner of your eye. That's why I like to use these for concealer, it's just, they just fit so nicely under the eye and they get right here in these little crevices and everything. So these are really, really nice for concealer if you're looking for a sponge to apply it with. So this is how my concealer looks. I put it around my nose, under my eye, my chin, the top of my nose, and 
the middle of my forehead so this is what it looks like as you can see it blends out so nicely so yeah that is the little swishers sponges for blending out my concealer so i am back today with another beauty blender part to my video today i am doing a little sponge which if you don't know what that is that is a new grocery store that's opening up in the u.s i'm not entirely sure what the brand is on this i'm really sorry but you can find it at Lidl. So that is that. And then I have a pure cosmetic sponge that has like a flat side and a round bottom and it says pure. I'm going to start with the pure sponge and it's going to be on this side of my face. Okay, so first impressions are that it's a little hard, honestly. Um, it's kind of hurting a little bit, but the flat side on the other hand feels really nice on my skin so maybe maybe use the flat side instead I would most definitely use the flat side over the other side just because it's a lot easier on the skin it's a lot easier on the face you don't have to um, push down as hard and it just really helps to blend everything out nicely I typically use it for powders and I honestly like it for powders a lot more so this is that side of my face so now we're gonna move on to the other side of the face and we're gonna kind of speed it up here because my camera's dying so I usually use this to apply my foundation this isn't something that is new to me um, I typically use this sponge and I've talked about it before on my channel, but I still had to include it in this video for obvious reasons. So here I am using the bottom of the blender, which I absolutely love this one. Um, it's not as rough as the other one whatsoever. It's not as soft as a beauty blender, but it is very, very, very soft. So this is that side of my face using this sponge. Overall, between these two, um, I definitely like this one way more than this one. I typically use this for powders. I'll continue to use this for powders, not necessarily for foundation. Um, it is really well. I really like the flat side, but again, I love it for powders. Um, this one, however, is my absolute go-to. I love this one. The Real Techniques and the Beauty Blender are all my top three so far. So I really, really, really like this one. And... Yeah, so that is the next two in my battle of the beauty blenders. Okay guys, so the next sponge that I'm going to be talking about is this one right here. And this is by the brand AOA. But this is the one that you get on Shop Miss A. And I got this a while ago. They have new ones on there, which I plan on purchasing as well. This is what I'll be using to apply my foundation today. And I'm not going to be doing like a side-by-side -side comparison. This is the last sponge I'm going to be working with. But I am going to do half of my face. You can see my little dog in the back. See me? Aww. So right off the bat, it's really... I'm not going to say it's really hard. It's wet, so it should be a little bit softer. So this is half of my face using this sponge for foundation. So... It looks really nice, I feel like, um, but the texture, I wouldn't choose this one. I honestly never really used this one for that reason. I don't really recommend this one, but it is only a dollar, so if you're looking for a cheaper option, maybe it is something for you. That is that, and I'll do like a little close-up so you guys can see it. So this is the side with the foundation on, and this is the coverage and how it looks. And this side has no foundation. 